Hello guys, uh, this will be a quick diagnostic uh, for the just arrived ZX7. Uh, one knob is missing here. So, okay, let's see if it's turned on. Uh, indicator doesn't work. So, doors open well. Modes. Pass forward, rewind. Okay, it engages, but it stopped playing immediately. Let me see. Okay, cup stands, turns, so that's a good sign. Both of them. Let me remove cover. Let's see together. Lamp works. Okay, I believe auto stop bulb is, is dead <laughs> because it's on. Everything turns and immediately turns off. Alright, so. Multiple things to look through. Yes, SX or AX and 120 should be. All right, let me see. See you soon. Well, 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 guys. What I can do with this X7? I just open it and immediately see counter doesn't work because it's not connected. Should we try if it will start working? Let me see. Subject. Boom. Counter. Okay, it still doesn't work. So I would need to check. Uh, but anyway, it's probably just both lamp dead. In this tape transport that's why it doesn't work okay now at least we see it lightning um, let me see let me open uh, i will service tape transport and then we will see uh, what else how it will perform see you soon and here i continue opening i I can understand there was like uh, our own screws installed to keep this cover, but take a look here. Uh, it's transistor installed here. Capacitor. So it's power. Goes to transistor. And then goes somewhere else here. I don't ever seen such upgrades. So this deck has been seriously messed up. Do you see that? All right, let me see what's that in this deck. See you soon. And here, guys, I removed the transport from the deck body. And here is the root cause why it's stopping. So this belt should rotate this after stop mechanism. And that's probably why counter doesn't work, so that's the root cause. Okay, it was serviced. I see, like, not original belt. Adler was not replaced. See, it's already round. Uh, no, nothing lubricated. All right. It's time to work on it. Let me make it perfect as much as I can. Head looks to be not a problem here. Let me clean it up, lubricate, and make sure it's working. See you soon. Bye bye. Hey guys, and here I disassembled the transport, prepare it to replace idler. Uh, considering everything, like it's there is no lubricant anywhere, everything is dry belts are trash 
so they are barely hold already like don't stretch so probably it was serviced but like 10 15 years ago i don't know so you see this belts are barely hold uh i will be doing full service i will be lubricate all everything make sure everything works properly assemble it install new belts and then let's see how it will perform i already made a couple of videos how to disassemble assemble this tape transport so you should if you like uh, details you should check my other videos in this video i'm just showing the uh, major moments when i'm doing it to just like to highlight what else should be done here so this is the common motor which rotates this common gear which appears is tape transport there is a capstan motor and here is a real motor and if you may see like even like old belts residue was not cleaned properly so i will do my best to clean it up from both capstans so somewhere ago it was serviced very poorly i mentioned it multiple screws are not original and i would like not proper type and like when you see here this is like <laughs> copper plated this one is different that's the original this one is not uh, and there are multiple mess ups with this deck I hope I will be able to make it running. See you soon. Bye bye. And here, you guys, is the old idler. I cut it off to remove easily, and you may see it's already rounded. And this means that it was worn. It's not very bad. It's a little bit plastified and hard, but uh, it's it's time. I will be replacing it. I have a bunch of new others. So if you're looking for replacements, let me know. See you soon. Okay guys, and here we have a new idler installed. You see it rotates. And real tables installed. Okay. So there is brakes engaged, so that's why it's not rotates free. But as soon as I will release brakes, it will, you see. Hi, right. good, continue assembling. Uh, here guys, I'm fixing the power switch. So the uh, pins has been broken and they've been extended with uh, our like, legs from the capacitors, I believe. And I saw the board and it was shaking. So I'm currently installing the wires thick wires here now i will use uh, uh, plastic wrappers which will be shrinking when i will connect it then i they will shrink them so there wouldn't be access to high voltage and on this side i will use uh, hot glue to exclude any possibility for uh, hot voltage to be touched from this side really i'm so sorry for this deck it's so many issues uh so many like excuse like I, I don't know who was there how they've been doing it see i'm already like assembly tape transport <laughs> was ready to start but see that there is no power so this leg which has been soldered here from capacitor just broke ah uh, i'm screaming loud So, I'm not sure when it was done, how long ago, but <laughs> this deck was just dangerous. Oi, right, see you soon. Hey guys, I'm continuing assembling. I'm already assembling the switch. So, it works here. Now, I'm heating my glue gun and I will be covering this board so high voltage no one will accidentally touch. Um, the reason why counter was disconnected 
and this grounding wire which is soldered to the cover for the counter was broken and not connected <laughs> that's why probably it was producing some noise and that's why they just disconnected counter to make it deck is, is working really i soldered it, it here connected it to the ground now it should work at least i highly expect it so you see sick wires oh disconnected it's crazy i don't know like i will be soldering it over again but it's it makes me so much pain <laughs> this switch i had to use a file to clean up around like to get to the contact properly to be able to connect in worst case i have switch from the nakamichi 481 i will try to install it it's i will solder it it's it's just solder it on the wire so maybe it's, it's a good idea because i don't like the switch how it sits here see you soon hello guys and here i'm installing the new switch so that's how it works from the front panel it has more metal parts and overall made better and here how the button works and here is the old switch so it was soldered just directly into the board and some person just see it even works all plastic some person cut it off you can try to install it so see here i'm using the hot glue so it will uh, cool down and it will fully cover this area so high voltage no one will be able to touch it all right uh, and board is now soldered on the thick wires so i pretty sure it will be last long okay now it's time for the truth let's try to start it and see how it's performed okay guys and now it's time of truth let's power it up okay indicator wise don't count i mean counter fast forward works this new idler it works really well we can easy play back okay, it's, it's empty tape okay let's see the tape pass and try it like to straighten up record head towards way off now let's see the tape pass it's, it looks to be straight Okay. Good. Now let's try to see if it plays something. Uh, I believe here I should have some music indicator. Doesn't work. Doesn't play anything. Oh, here. It was azimuth. Here. It's level. Why, why records is, is blinking? See? Wow. This deck has more issues. Really. I cannot stop this madness. You see? <laughs> no. No. You see? This red is it's blinking all the time. Is it tries to record? Oh, so without tape. It's 
Now tape is playing. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty unstable. So let me see if we have good sounds from it. Yeah, we have sound. Okay, next I will be trying to see what's wrong. We have counter problem. We have this rec problem. We have this azimuth start problem. We have some really, I cannot understand what's been done. There were like five volts uh, power stabilizer was done like using a microchip, not using standard linear power supply. So I will continue, at least we're playing and it's already a good sign, you can hear this place really nice, so that's where like uh, tuning is possible. But so let me see what's what's wrong with uh, electronics. Bye. See you guys. And bye bye. And guys, after a while, counter just start working by itself. I just like touch the boards, so probably something is unsoldered with one of the connectors. But you see, at least counter work. That's a good sign. I need to check probably resolder counter connectors. Maybe other connectors, we'll see. What is place? Counter live. That's a good sign. Moving on. And guys, here I'm continuing playing. Uh, I realized that azimuth indicator doesn't work. Uh, the master fader is on the low for some reason and it don't go up you see and nothing happens so this indicators doesn't lead they should lead here when we switch bias and level you see so logic doesn't work itself really seems just maybe generators doesn't work but this this light should be lit as well so some logic doesn't work here uh the master fader see it's it sits on the minimum And when I stop, you see, master fader goes up. Oh, yeah. And now, just regular recording, react mute. We should be recording. Level, I said, master fader. We have some impulses during switch, but that's it. Ah, all electronics like needs attention on this deck. There will be lots of work. See you. Bye bye.